Hi, my name is Chris Fernandez. I'm a repair technician here at AME International, and this is your Maintenance Minute. Typical thing we see with pumps, this is a somewhat brand new pump, nice, clean. This is what we get in from the field. As you can see, there's all kinds of dirt and debris. Problem with a hydraulic pump, that dirt and debris gets into the air motor. A lot of the issues we have, common call that we get is, hey, my pump is just bypassing air. We get that sound, kind of sounds similar to this. That right there is because the air motor is pretty much bone dry. Quick tip, what you want to do for you guys that are in the field, if you have standard air tool oil, if you've got air tools on your vehicle, use that. But in a pinch, grab some WD-40, give it a couple squirts. You're gonna hook your air back up and you're just gonna run the pump a handful of times. Work it a little bit, give it a couple more squirts. And that will stop the bypassing of air. Okay, on this side we have the 15900 series pump. 15900, 15920, 15940. So you can see spring, piston rod, air motor piston, the cylinder, and the hydraulic block. On this side you have the 15000 style pumps. 15000, 15025, 15020, and 15040. Same thing. Cylinder, piston rod, spring, hydraulic block, and the piston. The main thing that is similar between these two, your aluminum air cylinders. If you're not lubricating your air motors, you're gonna tear these up on the inside. This needs to get replaced. You're gonna tear this up on the inside, and this is gonna to need to be replaced. The hydraulic side rarely goes bad. I'd say probably eight times out of 10. It is because these air motors fail. It's right here. Your piston gets full of dirt and debris choose up the cylinder walls. Once these are bad, they need to be replaced. Once you replace these, your pumps are gonna function almost as new. But again, lubrication, 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 one to two drops a day, and you should be fine. It's a quick, fast, and in a hurry tip. Uh, if you have air tool oil, please use that. The recommended is one to two drops for every eight hours of use. We generally recommend, especially when pumps look like this, a lot of times they're out in the field like this, we recommend uh, once a day, first thing in the morning, give it a quick shot, get it lubricated, pressurize the pump a little bit just to get that, that fluid moving back and forth within that air cylinder. You do that, you should not run into this kind of issue. Um, dry air motors, what happens? You start getting dirt and debris. Um, also running too high of uh, PSI. These pumps operate between 90 and 120 PSI. You start running 150, 160, um, you're gonna start getting all kinds of dirt and debris if you're not running any type of filter in there. Um, what ends up happening on the inside, you'll start to scar up that cylinder. Now mind you, these are aluminum. Dirt and debris start chopping into that aluminum. You basically have to replace this air cylinder to get your pump up and running. It's somewhat of a pricey fix, but provided you do either WD-40 or air tool oil, you should not run into any kind of issue. My name is Chris Fernandez. This has been your AME Maintenance Minute. If you like this video, please click the uh, like button down below. If you got any questions, give us a call 352-799-1111 or shoot us an email at repairs at ameintl.net. Thanks. We'll see you at the next one.